Hi guys, welcome back to the Nirvani Herbals YouTube channel. And before we get started, I want to ask, could you please subscribe and or hit the like button on this video if you like it. We will be dropping new videos every Tuesday and Friday and you really don't want to miss out because that's some good stuff. Um, so let's get started. Today's video is basically story time. I'm going to tell you the tea on how Navani Herbals got started, who I am, the whole nine yards. So, alright. Basically, I'm Lakeisha and I started Navani Herbals. Um, hmm, it's pretty new. I actually launched it this year in February, so we're still pretty new, but we out there. People know who we are because, listen, anytime you see me, I'm pushing, I'm letting y'all know because it is so important to me. Like, that's, my business is so important to me because of this story that I'm about to tell you right now. Okay, so how it all got started is I was in grad school. I was in my last semester during midterms. I was so stressed and also I was a single mom. My daughter was at the time six, I believe six, something like that, maybe five. I don't know. Single mom in grad school, um, about to graduate, everything. And I was so stressed and anytime I could get some free time, like I would hang out with my friends. My friends like to go out. So we used to go out, we used to be, you know, drinking and eating chicken wings at the bar and all of that stuff. Like my lifestyle was just so just uh, everywhere. So, um, at this particular time, and if you ever had like an autoimmune disease or like some type of uh, chronic illness or something, it doesn't just come out of nowhere it usually pops up during a time of like high stress so that's what happened I was so stressed out like I was trying to get my midterms on point like I was so ready to graduate I had already been in school for five years I was working towards getting my master's degree and I was like okay after this I'm done so I was ready to get out of there and finally spend time with my kid and start my career and all of this stuff. So anyway, um, so this was I was stressed. Period. I wasn't eating healthy. I wasn't sleeping because I was up studying all the time or at the library or with my daughter. Like my life was just out of balance, one hundred percent. So one day, I went to class and my legs started feeling really weird. Like it started hurting. Like it felt like my bones was like crushing together or something like I don't know it started feeling really weird but I was like all right maybe I just was sitting on them wrong because I'll be in class just chill like that so I blew it off but it never got better so like day after day it would just get worse and worse I'm like what the heck so I go call my doctor set up an appointment I tell her, like, my, my legs been feeling weird. My legs been hurting. I'm telling her, I'm telling her. She's like, okay, so we're going to draw some blood and we're going to see what's going on. Let me look. Oh, did you, uh, were you wearing heels or did, are you, um, did you have a, what they call a runner splint where your shins, like, you know, if you, if you're a runner, like they could, I don't know. I'm like, well, I don't run, I don't wear heels, and I don't know what's going on. So, I haven't done anything different than what I usually do. So, anyway, she does the blood test. Everything comes back normal. Like, there's no iron deficiencies or no, like, mineral deficiencies going on. Like, she has no idea what's wrong with me. So, she referred me to a neurologist. He didn't know what was going on. By this time, it's much worse. By this time, my whole body is like, if you even touch me, like, it just hurts. I couldn't walk anymore by a couple weeks later. 
I was on a cane. So at this time, I was only 25 or 24 on a cane, like so embarrassed. I'm going to all these doctors. Nobody knows what's wrong with me. And they're just giving me all these painkillers and stuff. Like, we don't know what's going on. We're giving you all these painkillers. Just take these pills. And I'm like, but no one's telling me what's wrong with me. I even went as far as, I went to the Cleveland Clinic, which is, I don't even live, live in Cleveland. Went to the Cleveland Clinic, got an MRI on my brain to see if there was something like neurological going on. Nothing. So, by this time, I can't even walk. I can't play with my kid. I can't even go to the bathroom by myself, like, because my legs was hurting, so I needed a cane, or I needed my boyfriend to help me get to the bathroom, like, and it really hurt my pride, because I'm one of those people that I like to do everything by myself, I don't ask for help, um, I'll do it myself type of person, so, I'm just, my pride is just struck, I'm in the bed, I look just... A hot mess I just then I had to drop out now mind you this is the last semester in the middle of the semester before I graduate had to drop out because I couldn't I couldn't make it to class I'm depressed at this point like no no and then the the messed up part about having a chronic pain or chronic illness or like some type of autoimmune is that people think you're lying. Like, people don't believe that you're really sick because you don't look sick. You look regular. And you're complaining, complaining, and they're like... <laughs> they think you're faking it. Like, no, sis. I'm faking acting like I'm happy right now, but I really want to go home and cry in my bed because I am in so much pain right now. You just don't even get it. So... I was depressed. I'm in the bed. I'm not moving around. So I'm already little. Like, I'm a really little person. I lost like 20 more pounds. Still don't know what's going on with me. That was the part that really messed me up because it's like, at least if I knew what was going on, then I could fix it. I could find some help. But no. So anyway, one day I'm just laying in my bed, depressed, whatever, stink, hurting heat and packs everywhere and I'm on YouTube and I find this channel about herbs never knew nothing about herbs don't know anybody who takes herbs none of that so I'm watching all these videos all these videos and I'm like you know what because I'm not about to take nine pill painkillers I'm not doing it so push that to the side I'm like I'm gonna go ahead and try so it's a little farmer's market Around here, I went to the farmer's market. They sell herbs. I started um, taking the herbs. And when I say, in like three months straight, I was 100% healed. Period. Not only was I 100% healed, I was actually a lot healthier than before I even got sick. It was just like a blessing, for real. It was a blessing in disguise because the first thing was, I actually, my health got so much better than before, but the biggest blessing was I empowered myself, like I basically healed myself, like without a doctor. I went out, did all the research, took the, took the herbs and seen results and I was just like, and that's the day that I knew I am not putting my health in anybody else's hands ever again. I'm not going to walk from walk out of a doctor's office disappointed and in despair because nobody knows what's wrong with me. Especially when I know that I'm not living the healthiest lifestyle and now I'm all surprised that I'm sick. But anyway, so after I held myself, I'm like telling all my friends, like, y'all look at me like I'm doing yoga, headstands, backflips, like... I'm out here acting crazy. Me and my daughter having cheerleading competitions with each other. Like, it was crazy. And I just was so grateful. I never took my health for granted again ever ever since that. And it really hit different when you get sick. Like, I could tell you to take herbs and try to encourage you to prevent, prevent, prevent. But when you're actually sick and you feel like you're not going to be able to 
take care or see your kids grow up and all of that. Like when it really hit, you gonna do whatever. And that's how they get you. They know you're gonna be desperate when you sick like that. So they give you any kind of pill, da 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 and then they hook you on to the pills. I was at that point, but I wasn't going towards the pill, I was going towards the herb and I don't have I'm not stuck on the herb. I don't have to take one every day. But I do anyway just for the maintenance and the prevention. But I'm not addicted to a herb or none of that. It's a food. My body uses what it uses. And when it's done using what it has to use, the rest come out. Like, it's not nothing that's addictive. Nothing. Like, and you could take multiple herbs at a time. And usually one herb can help heal different parts of your body. So, I mean, you really don't have nothing to lose. Not saying you shouldn't do your research, though, but all the herbs that I sell for my business, they're all safe. They're really gentle. So there's nothing like exotic from like Zimbabwe or something that I'm trying to sell you. But <clears throat> so after I got healed, I decided to get my own herbs, make my own herbal blends and start selling it to people so that in educating them on how effective the herb is and like how it changed my life and then I just met people they were just coming out of nowhere like with all these same symptoms that I had when I first got sick and I'm like oh my god like sorry if I get emotional because this is serious and if y'all know I'm like pregnant right now but that's a whole nother a whole nother video but I'm like I really could help these people like I help myself like I could really make a difference for real like my downfall was really my greatest come up for real because it's not even really about the business it's just really about the fact that I really these herbs really changed me for real like really changed my life and <sighs> okay but anyway so I made this channel I really, really want to educate everybody. I really want to spread the word. Even if you don't buy herbs for me, I really think it's a good idea to at least try something like tea, anything that's going to intake some, some type of herb into your body because they really do heal. Like, I can't make this up. So, um, here we are. We have Navani Herbals. We have the Navani Herbals channel. And I'm so excited about this because I will be posting a lot of videos about herbs, but also about self-care and your overall wellness because we are multidimensional. We're not just physical. And like I said, a lot of the physical symptoms that I had did stem from emotional stress. Like I was telling you, I was in grad school and stuff. So... I'll give you some videos on that and just please subscribe like I said because it's gonna be some good stuff and any comments please comment below email me check out my website www.navaniherbals.com my email is navaniherbals at gmail.com send me some questions comment follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Navani Herbals DM me I'm ready. But anyway, thank you for watching.